Could this be a guiding light? <laughs> I wish. Yep, we're going to check out a couple of new lanes, but I forgot my Garmin. So we thought, oh, we'll use Outdoor Active. That'll be fine. Hmm. So we thought. Continuing all the way around. Now we've got to go this way, because the purple line says so. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Don't fucking try and change things. As usual, the video clips are in no particular order and the usual inaudible bollocks. We're just starting to realise how much we missed the Garmin. I normally plan the routes on Outdoor Active, but then transfer it to the Garmin. Rock steady every time. So one thing about riding with Chubby, he doesn't give a shit if we get lost, and nor do I. And we don't care how long it takes and what the hell. Yeah, thank you. He's a good boy. He's a good boy, yeah. That's that's fine. Thank you very much. Bless you. Okay. Where was that hole then? We're past it, that was all levelled out. So let's be fair that this uh, outdoor active has been a complete arse today. I don't know whether there's something in, in the settings we haven't got right, but it's been a shit, absolute shit. Some lovely little lanes, but one minute they're a bloody byway, next minute they're a, a bridal path, then they're restricted, and uh, one end has got a sign, the other end hasn't. Oh, Jesus. But they're all down on the maps and the apps as byways, so what the hell are you supposed to do? It's a bit like the authorities saying, well, we're not really sure if there's a motorway. We don't know. We'll let you know later. When planning a route on Outdoor Active, we always make sure that I change from hiking to motorised. And if I come to a section which it doesn't want to work with, I change it to off-road, but then remember to change it back to motorised. So it just makes it quicker planning. So by now, the outdoor active is playing up so much we're getting pissed off with it. It's trying to take you down footpaths even though we've planned it in motorised. Did try OS for a little bit but um, it weren't much better to be honest because the signal was poor and we didn't preload the maps. So the only sure way is Garmin, rock steady. A few days ago it was 10 degrees wasn't it? Now look at it. It's Yeah, wouldn't it be nice if the weather just stayed like this for the rest of the summer? Absolutely. As usual, pick the wrong fucking rut. Here we go. Here we go. I think I want this middle of a diddle. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Cheers. <laughs> Overgrown, DC. Jeez, oh, can't seem to get through it. So, what is your favourite dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> Water in the stream. Uh, Is this the stream? Really? Yeah. Nice. Uh, 
This Miller's Green, one of the biggest greens around. Yeah, biggest green in the country. Really? Yeah. Yep. And this is where the uh, troops trained for the Civil War. Really? Civil yeah. War, you say? So right. the, the Roundheads and the Cavaliers. Oh. This was the round. Cool. This was the. Uh, Did they actually have round heads? Did they? Did they round heads? Did they sort of? Did they? Did they pick pick them and say you're a round head? You're not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you were slightly chap, if you were slightly chap, then you're a cavalier. Maybe they were like you know, they were like oh, you look good in that. You look good in that. You look good in that. That'd be how you grade them, wouldn't it? Then they say, right, we're going practice down on the green. Yeah. And um, whoever is a bit flouncy, you're on the Cavalier side. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh. What a lovely hitch! Oh, it's true, isn't it? Starting to get a bit worried about Chubby coming out with camp and flouncy. Oh dear, look, look, look. Oh, fucking hell. Bambi, proper Bambi one. Not even a muck jack, is it? That's a, that's a red deer. A proper bamboo, eh? Yeah. 